So whatever Trump and a lot of these right-wingers are smoking, I want some of it, because they've been pushing the narrative for weeks now that Biden is a puppet of Antifa and the far left. I mean, I want whatever some of you're smoking. It's like, on what planet? You know, the guy that wrote the crime bill? The guy that's, that still doesn't want weed to be legal? Who is going to veto Medicare for all if it gets to his death? Not only is he not going to fight for it, he's going to veto it. Doesn't want to defund the cops? He's actually going to give them more funding? The most he's ever going to do is, oh, I'll train him to shoot him in the leg instead. You know, and a million other things I've brought up before. How is that far left? You know what that's like? It's like the most vicious school bully saying that, like, the other school bullies who just shake you down for your lunch money but don't kick your ass or don't kick it as hard as him, oh, th that they're one of the nerds. They're your friend. It's like, it's, but, like, but, bro, didn't you just see? You just stole my lunch money. You just embarrassed me in front of everybody. But, oh, do the rules. You can kick your ass like I kick it. That, you realize how ridiculous? That's exactly how you sound. And we think it's bad enough with Joe? Well, it's like, it's twice as bad to say that about Kamala. And what's even worse is, even people that I that I like and that I normally I agree with, they're going to go to sleep over some of this just because, oh, she's a black woman. You know, and look, look, I'm a hardcore feminist. I would love to have a woman in office, a woman president. I would love to have a woman in higher or people of color. I would love that. But they have to have the right policies. You know, I know that's boring and it's not sexy and it's, you know, but we're going through hard times right now. I mean, that's what's important. I'm like, you guys are in lockstep on economic issues. Don't you understand that? My only reason, my only takeaway of, of, as to why they, they always say that, why they always push that narrative, it's probably because the only difference between like a mainline Democrat and a Republican, the only difference is some of the cultural issues. Like, look, and I give credit where it's due. They are on the proper side of like, you know, they're pro-choice, pro-diversity. You know, they you, they didn't always support gay marriage. They only did when it became expedient or popular, but at least they do now. Okay, that's good. I think those are such wedge issues. They're so divisive. Oh, and like, you know, and um, some gun restrictions, that too. That it doesn't matter, doesn't matter how much they represent the rich and big business and corporations. All they have to do is be, you know, for the culture stuff, because that's so divisive that just in their minds, it's not, those are non-negotiables, especially for like the, you know, evangelical Christian types that, you know, if you're even 1% pro-choice, it's, oh, you want to murder babies and, you know. Oh, but I often wonder, like, how, is there any line they could cross where the Republicans would give that? And I, I've never understood this, them um, reaching out to Republicans, because it's like, no matter what you do, they're going to hate you, regardless. They're going to smear you as a far left, as a socialist, as a this or a that, no matter what you do. You got that D next to your name? Doesn't matter how Republican you are. Look, what, look, look at Bloomberg. He was a Republican until about 12 minutes ago, and they were saying that about him, you know? So they're not going to like you regard if, because if, if the MAGA people, if the hardcore, you know, right-wingers, if they have a choice between a Republican and a diet Republican, they're, guess what? They're going to go with the real Republican. And us, like the real lefties, we're going to be mad too as we are right now. So you're, you're not winning anybody over. I mean, so I, I just don't understand that the only people that that appeals to is like, you know, the... MSNBC liberal types that are like, you know, limousine liberal types that are like, you know, ultra rich and out of touch themselves. I mean, and there's more, there's more regular people than there are of them.